Hello everyone, this is Jozef Not here and today I would like to create a short video on how you can install OpenFoam more or less natively in Windows 10. So as you can see, here I am in Windows 10. I'm actually using the Windows 10 Enterprise Evaluation version, which you can download as an ISO file and then you can test it for 90 days. So thanks for Microsoft for letting me do that. So how can you now install OpenFoam in Windows 10? Last year in August, Microsoft released an update, which was called Anniversary Update. And within that update, we got a feature which is called Subsystem for Linux, which is in beta at this point. And with that, we got a feature that is called Bash on Ubuntu on Windows, which you can download from the Windows Store. And it is really easy to uh, install. And let me just show you how you can do that. So this is Windows 10. You go to here to the settings you click on settings in Windows 10 and update and security. And then here you go to four developers. And then you will have this enabled Windows Store apps. And for that, we have to enable the developer mode. So let's just click here. Yes, we want to turn on developer mode. Now we wait a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. Because with this developer mode, we will then enable the subsystem for Linux. Now it's installing the developer mode package. Let's wait for that. And now we have the developer mode enabled. Very good. Now let's just open up the control panel like this. And then in programs, turn Windows features on or off. Let's wait and then let's go to the very bottom. And here you see Windows subsystem for Linux provides services and environments for running native user mode Linux shells and tools on Windows. So let's just enable that and say, OK. Now Windows is doing something and now we have to restart. So let's just do this and I will come back. I will stop now recording and I will come back once I did the restart. OK, so we're back now. Now the next step is to open up the command prompt and here I will type in bash. And with this we will now download the bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Here I have to now type in Y. Now the bash is being downloaded from the Windows Store. The speed depends on your internet connection. This seems to be rather fast here. Let's just wait what's happening. And now with 100%, the file system is being extracted. This can take a couple of minutes. That's true. So what I will do now, I will stop recording again and then come back once the extracting of the file system is finished. OK, we're back again. Now the extracting of the file system finished and now we have to create a Unix username. You can type in whatever you want. You, I will use my standard username. And, uh, and also my standard password. Retype the password and now we're finished. Okay, so if I click this away, now we should have here bash on Ubuntu on Windows. Okay, but before we start there, we have to now download OpenFoam. And now let me open up this edge and then let's go to 
openfoam.com because this is officially supported by OpenCFD. So if you go here to download and Windows 10 native, you click here and you will find also a guide here. But the most important point here is this tar file, which we will now open in a new tab and download from SourceForge. Let's wait. Hopefully the download will start shortly. Yes. Yeah, I agree. And now I will save it. Yes. And download it. Maybe up until then, I do open up Bash on Ubuntu on Windows. So let's just click it here. And now you see, there we have now a Bash. We don't have anything in our home. But now this is a Windows file system. And the question is, how do you access the Windows file system? And that, the answer to that is that it is mounted in slash MNT. Now that's English keyboard now in MNT. Here you see the C, which is your Windows file system. So if I go to C, there now you see that there is what you will find in Windows. So the program files and the users and actually the user of this Windows is IE user. So if I go to IE user and then downloads this is where you can find now the tar file, which now finish downloading. So what I will do, yes, I will close everything and I will copy, copy the tar file into my home. No, home and my home. Okay. Let's wait for this. And now the question is, do you want to run your uh, simulations on the Linux file system or the Windows file system? That depends on you, whatever you want. You can download an additional software for the X server because out, there is no X server out of the box. This software is called Xming, uh, type like this, Xming. And you can download it from the internet. And then once you start this, then you can open up uh, utilities like Gedit or Paraview in the, uh, the bash here. If you don't want to do that, then you can install, the, uh, for example, Paraview for Windows 10, but then you have to run your simulations here on the Windows file system. So in slash MNTC users. Or you copy your results every time to the Windows file system. Okay, so this is all up to you. Now in our home, we have the tar file. Let's just make this bigger. And now let's extract the tar file. And now let's wait until this is finished. This seems to be rather slow. So again, I will stop recording now and I will come back once the extraction is finished. Okay, so we're back now. We extracted the tar file and now you see that there is an OpenFoam folder with the latest release of OpenFoam version 1706. At least now on the 31st of July 2017. Now all we have to do is enable the open form environment and with that we will have to add 
align into our bash rc and we have to source the file in open foam open foam and etc and bash rc this is the file we're looking for with nano we open up bash rc and now we source open foam open foam minus v1706 slash etc bash rc so with control o i will save now and control x i will exit and now all we have to do is open up a new bash on ubuntu on windows and as you see now this takes a little bit longer because now we're sourcing open foam and now if i type in just block mesh now you see we have a block mesh utility from the version 1706 so maybe a short tutorial here let's go for the icofoam the elbow tutorial here and what do we do fluent mesh to fluent mesh to foam and then the elbow now we have a uh, now mesh so we can run icofoam and now you see we have a working installation of open foam in windows 10 very good so now we have a um, simulation on the linux file system but as i mentioned maybe you want to open them up in windows 10 so you want to install paraview on windows what do you do then so maybe a good idea is to link your windows file system or at least one folder to your home and you can do that with ln minus s uh, minus s and then slash mnt slash mnt c and then users your username and then maybe the documents to here and now you see here you have the documents and if you go here to documents you have all the documents that you have in windows ah, yes so let's go to here this is what you have so let's maybe do another simulation and let's copy open foam open foam tutorials and let's go for a dam break case in this case interfoam and then laminar dam break dam break and let's copy it to documents Yeah, now you see we have the dam break case and then now we only go to documents dam break and now what we do is block mesh set fields and run interfoam if i go here you see now the simulation is running and we get the files if i go into point 25 now i get the results so i will stop now the simulation here and you have all the tools available so you can run top and then take a look at your uh, processes there or psvux you can kill your simulations as you want and the point being here is of course this will need not replace uh, simulation on a cluster on a linux cluster but what do you do in general you set up your case 
up until now on your laptop, most probably your Ubuntu laptop or your Ubuntu PC, and then you copy that case to a workstation, to the cluster, to your own server or into the cloud. And there, of course, also now you will run a Linux, about a server version and not a desktop version of Ubuntu or CentOS or any kind of Linux. So there you will start your simulations and then copy them back to your laptop of your Ubuntu laptop and then evaluate the results. But now you can do that also with Windows 10. You can set up your cases. This bash on Ubuntu on Windows is perfect for block mesh, for running topo sets, set fields, and also maybe even calculating your first couple of um, time steps, as I just showed you. And then you copy your cases from Windows 10 onto the cluster, onto your workstation, into the cloud, as you, where you want to run your simulations, and then run the simulations there and copy them back. And then you can do the evaluation on Windows 10 because you have Paraview also for Windows 10. So hopefully this helps you. If you are not able to uh, set up a dual boot system on your laptop or your PC, maybe this helps you or you cannot access hardware virtualization for a virtual box, so it's not extremely slow. So I hope this helps you. The, actually, this is what I wanted to show you here. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you learned something. I would like to thank you for watching and listening, and I hope to see you next time.